Hi, I'm Tim Tunin and I'm from Nashville, Tennessee, where I work as a designer, a journalist, an entertainer, a singer, and a songwriter. However, today I find myself right here in the middle of America's Dairyland, Wisconsin. Home to corn, cows, the Green Bay Packers, and of course cheese. But this place is also home to where both my love and fascination for both dogs and travel first began. You see, while I may have been in Nashville for the last 20 years, I actually grew up right here in a small town called Kirkona. So the fact that my current travels put me less than 50 miles away from my hometown and even closer to this cornfield on the same day I needed to shoot this audition tape, I guess it was just fate. Now I also found out that I only have 24 hours to get this thing put together and submitted. So I went ahead and I posted online to see if I could find anybody in the area that was a dog owner with some sort of international twist. So I'm going to head back to my laptop and see if we found anybody. Okay, so I got three responses, two of which just aren't going to pan out. The first of those was a German guy, and he raises Weimaraners. That would have been awesome. I love that breed, but he's three hours away from here, and I just can't make that happen with the time I've got today. The next is uh, from a woman, and she wrote, I have an Icelandic sheepdog puppy that I recently rescued and named Ash uh, to pay homage to the current tragedy. Now, that might have been cool, too, had she maybe rescued the dog from the volcano or had she known anything at all about uh, Iceland. But as luck would have it, I got a response from an Irish couple. They're only 10 miles away from here and uh, it makes me think of that old Irish saying, may the luck of the Irish be there with you. And what well, my Irish accent is kind of crap, but I do think I maybe just have a wee bit of Irish luck pointing me in the direction of my canine pot of gold, or in this case, goldens. Ron Young and his wife live in Greenville, Wisconsin, but they're originally from Northern Ireland and they were kind enough, even with this short notice, to invite me over to meet their two golden retrievers, Murphy and Patty. Here we are with the Youngs, and this, of course, is not your wife. No. <laughs> My wife's actually inside uh, making dinner. Uh, a good uh, Irish stew or shepherd's pie? Actually, uh, Indian curry. Mm. Britain's favorite. <laughs> it's great. It goes great with beer and the pubs. So, so you hear. So I hear. That's right. So I hear. Um, I hear it a lot. Culturally, would you say it's any different owning uh, a dog here in the U.S. as it is in, in Ireland? <laughs> The problem, <laughs> the problem with uh, owning dogs here, there's there's a lot more diseases uh, in the United States. In Ireland, no rabies at all. When I go over to uh, the UK, I know that I can't bring my dog. I have them microchipped yeah. and uh, shot for rabies and then tested again six months later. The Goldens aren't a small breed, but I mean, as, as the breed would go, these two dogs are actually pretty this huge. This fella is actually 125 pounds. <laughs> And his, uh, his baby brother's 110. So, so the small one is 100. The small one's 100. So your wife got a lap dog for what? About a month? Yeah, <laughs> yeah pretty, pretty much about a month. So, thanks a lot, Ron. Thanks. This is Roxy. She's a little tired. It's starting to get late, but she's going to help me out best she can with this last little bit. Now, you know, there's a lot of things I could tell you about why I would make a great host for this show. I'm fun. I'm energetic. 20 years in the entertainment business. I'm definitely not afraid of a lot of hard work, and I know that's exactly what it's going to take to pull something like this off. But anyways, if I can, I'm just going to wrap it up like this. I'd like to travel around the world Making more four-legged friends With a pocket full Biscuits and hamming it up to the camera lens. My passport is packed and ready, along with all my charming wit. Hey, I'm already used to the doghouse, so I know I'll be the perfect fit. Hey, just toss this dog a bone. 